Welcome back everyone, I'm Crane Bramp, your old Brainiacs, and we're back for another mod spotlight. This time we're looking at RimWorld and Tab Mods. If you're an information junkie like I am, then this mod spotlight is going to be the one for you. So, grab a cup of Ambrosia and a lavish meal, and let's have a talk about Tab Mods. When it comes to games, especially survival games, I'm an information junkie. This is especially true in RimWorld, and even more so for modded RimWorld, because of the glut of information that you need to track. Now, with my help today, you might turn your old, boring tab bar in vanilla to an information glut worthy of the 21st century. Now, before we get started, thanks for stopping by and spending some time with the community today, and I hope that today is the day that I earn that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember that I stream survival gaming on Twitch, including Super Modded RimWorld, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All that information is right down there. Now, as always, I assume that you know how to mod RimWorld. If not, there's a video for that up in the right-hand corner. Finally, I move pretty fast through these. Remember that you can pause any time in the video. The game that you're seeing is my current RimWorld of Magic Super Modded playthrough. It has all of these tabs pre-installed. I'm well along in the game, and this will give you a chance to see all the tabs with some real data on them. We're just going to go from left to right across the tab bar, and that means first up is the Work tab by Fluffy. This gem of a mod completely takes over job priorities from the vanilla game, and I'd be lost without it. The tab allows you to set work priorities by check mark or by number. Priority from none to one to nine, allowing you a large range of flexibility in how you assign work. Controls are fairly easy. You can click column headers to sort that column. You can change priorities by left and right click or use your scroll wheel. You can even change a whole column's priority by shift click or shift scroll in the header column, or you can sort by the pawn name. You can also copy an entire line by simply clicking the copy button, a paste button will appear, and then you can paste those values into another pawn's line. You can also expand some work types by control clicking the appropriate column, and the types fold out with even more specific options if you wish. Clicking the expand all priority buttons does this for the whole tab and then offers a scroll bar for you to move up and down the pretty exhaustive list. Micromanagement for the win, baby. Finally, there is a scheduling window if you wish to do items like restrict a certain job to a time frame, only having pawns clean up early in the morning, for example, or having the cook only make meals right before mealtime are some possibilities. I'm sure that you can come up with more. Next down the line is the Numbers tab. This is the most customal info mod I know of in the game, and it does an excellent job conforming to whatever you may need it to do. The view has a ton of customization, allowing you to add almost any numerical stat, chance, percentage, or status effect to the tab. To begin with, you can select whether this tab shows colonists, enemies, animals, and more. Enemies is invaluable during raids, with the others being just as useful. Each info item is broken down into a series of categories. Stats, work, skills, needs, health, records, and miscellaneous. As you can see, there's an absolute metric crap ton of items here. But if it's a stat, then it's here, and this means you can customize the display to any playthrough or any playstyle. As an added bonus, you can also save and load preset views, making the customization options practically unlimited. To add a column, simply select one of the items and it's added to the view. You can click and drag items to reorder them, and then simply right-click to remove them. Once you're satisfied with the view, you can save it as a preset, or simply save it as the default view. There are also some pre-created presets, medical, combat, work tab, and colonist needs. You can, of course, customize these views further, if you wish. Animal tab is up next in the tab slot bonanza. Animal Tab was released back in Alpha 12, and it was so well received that most of the functionality was actually folded into the vanilla game's Animal Tab. However, the mod still adds quite a bit of functionality, such as sorting filters and renaming, and in my humble opinion, I think it still looks better. To begin with, you get gender icons and full life stage information for each animal right on the tab. Sorting is available on a number of columns, including name, gender, lifestyle, age, and body size, in other words, how much meat they have. You can butcher animals right from the tab if you wish, so kill it will. Renaming is available by shift-clicking a nameable animal, while the same shift-click allows you to mass set 
masters, and handlers. A lot of small things, but it brings the functionality of the animals tab up enough that it easily made this list it makes all the lists of my modded playthroughs. Research tab is a fork of Research Tree by Fluffy that redesigns the way the Research Tree works. Great mods, both of them. The difference is that Research tab has a slightly different layout that I prefer, but most importantly, Research tab generates the Research Tree while RimWorld is loading instead of when you open the tab. This is a huge benefit if you're running a lot of mods. My super modded series run 350 plus mods at a time, and this tree has zero lag when I open it. As you can see as I spam abuse the button, take that RimWorld, and obviously the tree is mod aware and adds all of their items to the tree. For navigation, you can use the scroll bars to move the tree around, or you can zoom in and out by using shift plus the scroll wheel. Panning is available by shift click and then just dragging the tree with your mouse. Hovering over an item shows you information about it, including what mod it comes from. There's also a research queue, as you can see here. I'm working on shield generators, arcane crafting, and arcane forges, since I'm working my way into enchanted weapons, and this is my RimWorld of Magic playthrough. I can remove one from the queue by simply left-clicking it, and if I have WikiRim installed, I can right-click and be taken right to the entry for the item. <laughs> nice. Finally, if I want to add an item to the queue that has prerequisites that I'm going to need to research first, let's say, oh, refined sleeping gas to pump into my kill box to knock out raiders and take a whole raid prisoner. Ah, uh, doesn't that spark some ideas, boys and girls? Anyway, I can either left-click to replace the queue or shift-click to add it to the queue, and all of the prerequisites get added to the queue for me. That's a win in my book. Next, in my incredibly long tab bar, the Flora tab, which shows you all of the flora on the map, plants, not crop items, ordered by the distance from the home area. Shows the name of the flora, also its growth percentage. You can filter by trees, crops, and bushes, and can cut and harvest right from the tab. Although I generally use the management mod to do all my harvesting, this is a great overview of the map. It keeps you from searching for, like, say, a small patch of ambrosia all over the map or being able to check on the growth of a particular plant that you're looking to harvest. And then, on the bar itself, we have the final tab mod, the Relations tab. This completely replaces the Factions tab with a graphical information display about not just your relationship with other factions, but also between your colonists. The tab shows, for each colonist, a separate display of their relations, latest interactions, and a graphical display, again customized for each columnist, showing their relations within the colony. This dynamic graphical display can also be switched to a static circle mode, and this will help with lots of colonists or with some race mods that will break this display. Switching to factions, you can see the dynamic display here isn't much help because I have a ton of factions in this world. Switching to circle mode makes it more readable, although still it's a bit dense just because of how many factions there actually are. Closing out, I want to leave you with three tab-related mods that go along well with this theme. First, there's Compact Head Fs, which changes the Head F display on your colonist's health tab to be a bit less ugly, and it also has a ton of features such as customization, augmentations, multiple bleeding icons based on severity, sorting by severity, per body part health bars, and more. Then there's tab sorting, which sorts items into your tabs better. All lights go into a separate tab, all walls and doors to the structure tab, as a hospital tab, and more, and all of these tabs are switchable on and off in the mod options. This helps reduce clutter, and especially in high mod count playthroughs, serves to reorganize your items and really prevent mod scatter. Finally, there's Architect Icons and Optional Icons for Architect Icons, which adds visual cues to the Architect tab. Really helps when you have a ton of tabs with a ton of items, as finding the visual icon is sometimes much easier than reading through the list, especially as these categories may change or even disappear completely with different mods. Well, that's the end, and once again, I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me today. You have a great time playing modded RimWorld, and I'd love to hear in the comments of your favorite tab mod, or even one that I didn't mention for RimWorld Tab Mods Part 2. 
Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.